the whales. With speed, power, and cunning, they are the ocean's ultimate predators. But they're also highly social and spend their entire lives in close family groups. They've conquered all the world's oceans, but there's only one resident killer whale family found in the UK. And four years ago for The One Show, I had a remarkable encounter with them just south of Skye. We've just spotted killer whales off the front of the boat. Whoa, look at that. This family is known as the West Coast Community, and what we saw was exceptionally rare. Oh, it just doesn't get any better than that. The experience left a lasting impression on me. But since we last filmed, this killer whale family's fortunes have changed. So I've come to Scotland's National Museum to meet whale expert Dr Andrew Brownlow for the latest news on the whales and to see how our footage has helped their research. Yeah, wow, look, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my word. I've just seen the remains of a harbour porpoise. And then right in front of my eyes, a killer whale just came up and grabbed it. What you're seeing there is perhaps the end of a long hunt. This is not seen very often. There's only three or so reports of this population feeding on marine mammals. I mean, this is spectacular. It told <laughs> us a lot about this population. It confirms the scientists' hunch that the family target porpoise, and it remains the best footage of its kind ever captured. When we filmed this, we were excited and knew we had exceptional footage, but we didn't expect it to actually help science. You can learn so much from this. I mean, you can, you can identify the individuals, plus you can see how they behave, and that's really important. The Hebridean Whale and Dolphin Trust has been following the family pod for 25 years and identify the individual whales by their unique black and white patterns and the shape of their dorsal fins. We encountered four of the nine strong West Coast community that day. The two with smaller fins are females Lulu and Puffin. This is male Aquarius. And the massive two-metre dorsal fin we saw belongs to Comet, one of the biggest killer whales ever studied in the UK. And they've recently learned even more about him from an unlikely source. Since this footage was taken, there was a, a quite an interesting development looking at social media. Researchers online came across this footage from 47 years ago of a male killer whale making a splash on the local news when it swam up the River Foyle in Northern Ireland and struggled to return to sea. They recognised the distinctive crooked fin shape. Was actually one of these males. It was one of the ones I saw? Uh, one of the ones that you saw called Comet. Um, <laughs> he was an adult at that point. So that means that Comet, who's still going strong, is in his 60s, which is quite amazing. It's insights like this that are helping piece together the history of our rare resident pod. But there's another side to their story. Killer whales reach sexual maturity at 15. So one thing that has continued to baffle scientists is why in all the years following the group, they have never seen a calf. It's a mystery that recently took a step closer to being solved. Because tragically last year, Lulu, one of the females that we filmed, was found washed ashore. Well, Mike will be solving that very <coughs> mystery on mm. tomorrow's show. And as you can see from this footage here, the conclusion it is truly fascinating. Mm. Now, earlier on, we asked for your pictures of you dressed up.